Hey guys, it's Robin and welcome to my channel. So last week I showed you guys how to make this awesome Fortnite cake. I showed you how to make all the little decorations and how to put together the cake, but I didn't show you how to make fish stick because I thought he deserved his own tutorial. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get right into it. So for those of you who missed last week's video, I showed you guys how to make this really cool Fortnite logo out of fondant, a ladder to climb up the side of your cake, even though I'm told by my son there are no ladders in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and I even showed you guys how to make some bandages and potions as well as this really cool personalized flag banner for the top of the cake. But today it's all about fish sticks. So we're going to start with a piece of orange fondant, which I'm going to shape into a bit of a bowling pin sort of shape. Then I'm going to flatten out the elongated portion before taking my X-Acto knife and cutting out an arm on each side. Now this is going to give you some sharp edges to your fondant that you're going to need to smooth out a little bit. So we're going to build some shoulders for this guy and we're also going to roll out those arms to make them a little bit longer and skinnier. But now they're a little bit too long so we're just going to pinch those off. And now before the fondant dries out too much we're going to start elongating the body a little bit because he is quite tall and skinny. Now once you've shaped the body to be how you want it to look, we're going to jump back to the arms for a second and we're going to shape those wrists so that way we can start working on his hands. So as you can see, I have flattened out the hands a little bit because we want his fingers to look nice and skinny. And I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife to cut some little fingers and I'm going to alternate so that way things look nice and even as I'm going. And we're just going to pull a few little pieces away to leave some gaps in between those fingers as well. And now we're just going to shape the hand a tiny little bit to make it look a little bit more like a fin. Then I'm going to grab my Dresden veining tool and while the fondant is still nice and soft on the arms, we're going to emboss some stripes down the sides to make him look like he has fish skin. So now that the arms are finished, we're going to start with the legs and we're going to make those in a very similar way. So I've separated the legs by making a cut straight down the center using my X-Acto knife. And now we're just going to smooth out those edges a little bit and elongate the legs to make them a bit skinnier. And then we're going to pinch off any excess and shape some feet. And he is a fish, so he doesn't have toes. So obviously we're going to make his feet look more like fins. So I'm taking my Dresden tool and creating some lines to give that look of fish skin. So now that we've finished shaping the body, we need to get this guy dressed. So starting with his hat first and a piece of brown fondant, I've just cut out a very simple circle, stuck that on the top of his head and trimmed the excess away. Now I'm taking a piece of dark brown fondant and we're cutting this into strips. And I'm gonna stick one on the front, one on the back and one on each side. And now I'm gonna take all four of those strips and give them a little twist and a pinch, leaving a little tiny piece behind. And then I'm gonna finish off the hat with a strip around the base and then a tiny little flap hanging down off each side. And there you have it. That was pretty simple, but this next part, his outfit is a tiny bit more tricky. So we're gonna try to keep this as easy as possible and build it right on his body. So I've rolled out a piece of blue fondant and I've just draped that right over his body. And then I use my X-Acto knife to trim the excess away. And we're also going to do the same idea with the back. But we're going to leave a tiny little bit extra on the side. So that way we can wrap it around and join those two pieces of fondant together. Now, if you find your fondant isn't sticking together very well, you can also use the tiniest dab of water all along the edges. And that should act as a bit of a glue. So now that we have the main portion of his outfit finished, we need to add some of the smaller details, such as his belt. So this is a utility belt, and we're just going to start by wrapping a little piece of brown fondant around his waist, giving it a little yellow buckle, and then a couple of different size pockets to finish it off. All right, so now we're gonna start working on his face. So I've taken two little pieces of orange fondant and stuck them where his eyes are gonna be, created two little craters to stick his eyeballs into, and then we're finishing them off with two little tiny black pupils. Then for the beak, I'm gonna take a small piece of yellow fondant, roll that into a little bit of a banana shape and stick that into place. And then using my Dresden veining tool, we're gonna to separate his lips. Then I'm gonna finish him off with a few minor embellishments on his outfit. So there you have it. That's it, guys. Now we just need to decide how we want to present him on our cake. Now you can dry him standing up, add some supports inside and present him that way. But I want him to be sitting, so I'm going to bend him at the waist. But don't try this when he's dry, because he will crack. Save yourself the hassle and learn from my mistakes. <laughs> And now as one last final step, we are going to use a toothpick inside of him for support and as a way to attach him to our cake. And there you have it, guys. Doesn't he look amazing? I think he looks so great. 
Now, if you guys know somebody who loves Fortnite and this is a cake you would like to recreate, be sure to click the link to my video from last week in the description box below where I showed you guys how to put this cake together, make this cool Fortnite logo, all these little decorations for the top as well as the cool ladder for the side, and even this fun little personalized flag banner for the very top of our cake. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you absolutely love this cake. If you do, leave me a big fat thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, if anyone found this tutorial helpful when making your cake, I hope you'll consider sending a small super thanks. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next week.